Marami po nagtatanong kay Kuya Puto lately dahil all over the internet, all over YouTube, all over online, marami po nagsasabi, napakahirap daw po umasen sa mga Pilipino dito sa Canada. Totoo nga ba yan? Pinapag-uusapan natin dito sa video na to, guys. <music> So, hindi po malaking sikreto na pagbago kayo sa ibang bansa, doon kayo naninirahan, baguhan kayo, talaga mahirap po ang buhay. Talaga magdadaan po kayo sa, sa mga challenges, ba? Diba? Natural lang po yun. Pero tayo mga Pinoy, we're very, very resilient people. So, bakit ang dami nagsasabi, siguro kapwa Pinoy din, na pagdating natin dito sa Canada, napakahirap o masenso. Totoo ba yun? Alam nyo guys, bago kayo makikinig sa mga ganong klaseng comment, tanong nyo muna, saan ba nanggagaling to? Sino ba nagsasabi nun? Ako po, I've been living here for the last 40 years. Pretty much all my life. And I can tell you this, napakadami, like countless, countless, countless Pinoy's po na kilala ko, na encounter ko, I've heard, I've seen, I've worked with, you know, very, very, very successful. So, you know, hindi naman po lahat ibig sabihin magiging uh, mayaman. Hindi naman po lahat magiging asenso. Nasa sa tao din po yun. Like, you know, how hard do you want it? How bad do you want it? What are you willing to give up to, to achieve that goal, di ba? So, pag-uusapan natin, guys, yung mga, mga rason siguro kung bakit uh, naririnig natin to. Marami pong Pinoy pagdating dito sa Canada na siya-shock po sila dahil uh, napakadaming other races na nakatira dito because Canada is a very diversified country, right? Ang daming puti, ang daming Indians, ang daming Latinos, ang daming different types of uh, Asians from all over the world, mga Arabs, you know? So, I don't know. Maybe it's the way that we were brought up, you know? May, meron pong iba, mababa ang self-esteem Mababa tingin nila sa sarili nila Mababa tingin nila sa abilidad nila Because to them, maybe, you know Where they were brought up They were always made to believe Na yung mga puti, yung mga ibang lahi Mas magaling sa'yo, mas maabilidad sa'yo You know, mali po yun Lahat po tayo pare-pareho You know, if you apply yourself You're capable to do the same things as other people You know, tandaan nyo Pagising natin sa umaga It doesn't matter if you're Filipino If you're Pute If you're Latino If you're Chinese If you're Asian If you're Arab Pare-pareho po tayo Pag sinuot natin pantalon natin One leg at a time Unless special case kayo <laughs> So I guess Sinasabi ko ni Kuya Puto is this you know, Kailangan yung mentality na Mas mababa tayo Kumpara sa ibang lahi Tanggalin natin yan Because you know, <laughs> we're all humans. We're all capable of the same things. It just comes down to how bad do you want it? What sacrifices are you willing to give? Are you willing to make to achieve that goal? Yeah? So another reason po, um, siguro bakit yung mga ibang Pinoy sasabihin you know, sa, sa kapwa Pinoy, you know, ang hirap po masensor dito sa Canada. Is because uh, yung mga tao na pumupunta dito, pagdating dito, they don't put themselves first. Ano ibig sabihin ng Kuya Puto? Well, you have to put yourself first before anything else. You have to be selfish. I hate using that word, pero totoo po yun. You have to be selfish at the beginning. Uh, I'll give you an example. Padala ng padala sa Pilipinas. As in, trabaho ng trabaho dito, lahat ng tinatrabaho nila, pinapadala niya sa, sa Pilipinas. So, how are you able to build when every single penny, or at least the majority of what you earn, pinapadala niya sa Pilipinas sa, sa kapatid ninyo, sa pinsan ninyo, sa pamangkin ninyo, sa aso nila, sa pusa nila. <laughs> Yan. You know guys, I understand na kailangan tumulong tayo sa pamilya natin, pero lagay natin sa lugar. Dahil pag hindi po, hindi po madali, you know, pumunta sa ibang bansa and magtrabaho doon and magtira doon. And in order for us to be in a position to really, really help, we have to help ourselves first. We have to put ourselves 
first. We have to build ourselves first before we're able to do any of those things that we promise everybody. And at the same time, kailangan natin lagi sa lugar yan, right? So, sa umpisa, siguro, kaya siguro marami nagsasabi na, hey, you know what? Ang hirap umasin. So, dahil they load themselves up with this burden. Yes, guys. They load themselves up with this burden of being Captain save a ho <laughs> Marami po magagali dyan. Ano ba yung Captain save a ho na yan, Kuya Puto? Well, they want to save the world. But they won't concentrate on saving themselves first. Establish yourself first. You know, hustle, work, put the sacrifice in, and eventually, when you get to that point where you know what, kaya na, na tumulong ng sapat, then tumulong ng sapat. But in the meantime, while you're building, you need to concentrate on yourself. You need to be selfish. I hate to say, but yeah, you need to be selfish at the beginning because you need to establish yourself first. Hindi po madali yun. Ano pa ba? Yung hindi po maiiwasan maraming Pilipino. Hindi lang Pilipino, ibang lahi din. Mayayabang. <laughs> As in mayayabang. Ayos lang siguro yung yabang sometimes kung kaya, pero karamihan po ng beses di kaya yung yabang, di ba? So, hindi po maiiwasan you know, pag nandito kayo sa Canada, you know, mas patagan loob nyo to be hanging around with other Filipinos, which is fine. That's okay. You know, it's got its drawbacks, but it's fine. You know, that's gonna be a video for another topic. That's a topic for another video pala. Pero ganito problema, you know, pag, uh, when we're in, we're, when we are in a group of Filipinos, and yun po ang uh, core group natin, yun po mga tao na, you know, mga kaibigan natin, we hang around with them, di ba? Marami po, mayabang. <laughs> As in, Okay, si si Kuya bumili ng kotse. Kung kailangan bumili ako ng mas magandang kotse. O si Kuya bumili ng uh, sapatos na maganda. Kailangan bumili ako ng mas magandang sapatos. O si Kuya bumili ng bahay. O kailangan mas maganda yung bahay ko. O si Kuya, you know, dalawa kabit. Kailangan apat ang kabit ko. Ganun. Maling mentality po yun. And I guess that's one of the reasons na nagka-contribute why a lot of people think or say na mahirap po masensu sa Canada because yung yabang na yan, I know it's human nature <laughs> and hindi po maiiwasan but kailangan natin as best as we can to iwas yan because kung kaya nyo, kaya nyo, okay? But kung kaya nyo, huwag nyo ipagyabang, gawin nyo na lang. But at the same time, kung hindi nyo kaya, tapos, you know, kinakaya, kaya ninyo lang, layuan nyo yan dahil mababaon talaga kayo. As in, mababaon, nababaon talaga kayo. And over what? Sino ba? Who are you trying to impress? You know, yung mga katropa ninyo? Your katropa will not pay for your bills pag nabaong kayo. That is, yung yabang na yan, guys, believe it or not, it's one of the main reasons why nababaon ng mga tao sa utang dito. Hence, therefore, <laughs> hindi makaangat. You know, yung asenso, tumatakbo, tinatakbohan sila ng asenso dahil dyan. All over YouTube, guys, narinig niya yan, crab mentality niya yan. Pag nakakita kayo ng Pilipino na umaangat ng konti, Imbes na tulungan ninyo, <laughs> pinagchichismisan ninyo, you know, you badmouth that person, you badmouth what they're trying to do, or you discredit what they're trying to accomplish, maling mali po yan. You know, dapat yung mga mentality natin na, na, na mga Pinoy na nandito sa ibang bansa that are trying to make it, tulungan dapat tayo. You know, yung crab mentality niyan, bullshit yan. Sipin nyo guys dito sa Canada, ang daming uh, napakalaki ng Canada. Pala ito, Ontario na lang, napakalaki ng Ontario. Forget Ontario, Toronto. Napakalaki ng Toronto. Alam nyo ba sa Toronto, ano yan eh, it's divided into different uh, cities. Okay? In every city, merong prominent culture or race that is predominantly living in that city. So, sa Woodbridge, mga Italians. Sa Markham, mga Chinese. Sa Brampton, mga Indians. Sa, sa Toronto, sa may uh, Richmond Hill, Thornhill area, yung talagang mayayaman, mga Jewish, mga Hudyo. Pa tayo mga Pilipino, wala tayong ganun. Alam niyo kung bakit? Because those other cultures that I mentioned that own those cities, that live predominantly in those cities, they learned how to help each other. Yes. 
you know for the majority na natutunan po nila na layuan yung crab mentality instead nagtutulungan po sila lalo na yung mga negosyante kahit yung mga regular na tao nagtutulungan po sila pag nakita nila yung isa umaangat tinutulungan po nila yung kapwa para makaangat lahat dapat tayong mga Pilipino ganoon ang ginagawa natin you know imbis na oh yung inggit na yan pag, pag nakakita ng, ng tao na medyo maangat ng konti kung ano-ano pinagsasabi <laughs> You know, oh, ninakaw niya yan Oh, minana lang yan Oh, kesyo ganito, kesyo ganun Nandadaya yan Pero hindi naman nila alam kung ano talaga yung totoong story you know, Si ate, si kuya at Siguro nagtrabaho ng, ng Todong-todo yung, <laughs> yung kamay nila sumakit na Yung ulo nila sumakit na, hindi na tutulog Para lang ma-achieve yung goal nila Tapos yun ang sasabihin ng kapwa Pinoy Because he inget crab mentality you know, They want to pull them down to the same level that they're at Instead of helping them or even better instead of asking them hey you know what i want to be as successful as you i'm going to be humble and i'm going to ask you for your help so we can grow together dapat ganun ang mentality so yeah that's another reason why guys <laughs> you know marami po nagsasabi napakahirap po masense ng pinoy dito sa canada dahil because of that hey, in my honest opinion guys you know one of the biggest reasons why you know marami sa atin tumitingin and nagsasabi napakahirap nating umasenso is pinoy dito sa canada is because kung kani kanino tayo nakikinig for advice <laughs> disclaimer guys i am a random youtube guy and I am the last person that you should be asking for advice. All I'm doing is I'm sharing my life experiences and what I see, what I have seen living here for the past 40 years pretty much all my life, right? Pero ganito yan. Kunyari, <coughs> kunyari, isang tao naghahanap ng insurance. Oh, narinig ko ganito. Narinig ko ganun. Tapos kunyari, isang tao naghahanap ng kotse. Oh, narinig ko ganun. Oh, ganito ginawa ni ano, ganun ang ginawa niya. Oh, kunyari naghahanap ng bahay. Oh, si Kesho ganito ginawa kaya nakakuha ng bahay. Oh, si Kesho ganun ginawa para nakuha ng bahay. You know what, guys, yung mentality ng mga Pinoy na 'yon, oh, yung yung, yung kani-kanino nakikinig, mali 'yan. You know, we need to start doing our research. We need to start doing our due diligence. We need to start being responsible for our choices in our actions. So, kung meron kayong gusto, okay, palagay nyo na, gusto nyo ng kotse, imbis na sasabihin nyo sa sarili ninyo or sa kapwa ninyong Pinoy, oy, eto, kung ganun, no, ganun ginawa niya, ganun ginawa niya, parang chismis, you know, it's not based on facts, instead na makikinig ka sa taong yun, puntahan mo, maghanap ka na merong kotse, <laughs> italang mo sa kanya kung paano niyang ginawa yun. The same thing goes for trabaho, the same thing goes for purchasing a house, same thing goes for pretty much everything. If you want something that you, if kunyari meron kayong nakita na gusto ninyo, gusto niyo yung bagay na yun, maghanap kayo ng tao na meron ganun, tanongin niyo siya. Negosyo, same thing. Taxes, same thing. Everything, same thing. You know, stop uh, listening to these people. Oh, narinig ko, ganun ginawa niya. Oh, narinig ko, ganun ginawa niya ito. No. You know, do your own due diligence, do the research, ask people that are doing something with their lives. You know, don't, wag ka yung nakikinig kung kanikanino. You know, wag ka yung, ano tawag din, yung utu-uto. <laughs> wag utu-uto. <laughs> wag utu-uto. So, well anyways guys, uh, yun ang topic natin. Sana naman, you know, walang natamaan dyan because... These are basically, you know, some of the really, really annoying, toxic Filipino traits that we have. You know, us Filipinos, lalo na dito sa Canada, maabilidad tayo, isipin nyo. <laughs> you know, saan tayo nang galing? We came from the other side of the planet. Nandito na tayo sa Canada. Nagdaan na tayo sa kahirapan just to get here. Sandahin nyo guys, okay? All of us are capable of greatness. La tayo. It's just a matter of how bad do you want it? Okay, what are you willing to sacrifice to get it? What path are you willing to take? And who are you going to pick as your team <laughs> to help you get there? Because, you know, wala po nakakagawa na nag-iisa. 
You know, wala pong nakakagawa ng success na nag-iisa siya. Lahat po yan may tulong along the way. And it's gonna be up to us to pick and choose the right people that we surround ourselves with to take us to the path of success. So yeah, huwag kayong maniwala. Marami pong umasenso, marami pong umaasenso dito and marami pong masipag, marami pong matalinong mga Pilipino. All they need to do is, you know, stay away from all of those things that I just said in this video. So sana naman po nakatulong to kahit konti and hindi kayo natamaan. I was just, you know, speaking the truth from what I've seen and experienced living here for the past 40 years. So this is Kuya Puto guys, wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble, keep your hustle strong. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye for now.